Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to whiten teeth in Lightroom. All right, let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to head over to one of the um, navigation panels here to select an image, go to catalog folders or collections and um, select an image. And once you have that image selected, uh, we can go to loop view to see that full size. And then we'll want to head over to the develop module. And once we're in the develop module, if you hover over the image, you should have a magnifying glass that will allow you to click and zoom in to 100% at any part of the image that you click on. And once you've clicked on that, um, we'll head over to the adjustment brush. Now, a couple of quick tips as you're zooming and moving around. Um, you can hit Control plus and Control minus on the keyboard to zoom in further and you'll notice this hand here will allow you to click and drag around. Now if you have a tool selected like the adjustment brush for example over here um, you'll notice that the tool then it will appear but if you hold the space bar it will switch that tool from whatever it is to the hand temporarily as you hold down the space bar and you can click and drag the image then then to reposition it. Okay so um, once we have our image zoomed in where we want it and positioned we'll come over here and open up the adjustment brush and you'll notice that um, underneath effect there's a drop down menu. If you click on that and head down to teeth whitening, uh, Lightroom has a pretty good preset here for whitening up teeth. So we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. You'll notice the exposure is set to um, plus 0.4 stops and the saturation is at negative 60. So those two things together kind of help to whiten the teeth out. So if we head down to our brush adjustments here, we notice that we can adjust the size of the brush that we'll be working with and the feather of the brush that we'll be working with. So this is kind of um, how quickly it gradiates from the effect to where the area that it's not being affected. And so the more that you uh, increase the feather, the more feathered that effect will be as you brush it in. And uh, flow simply means how quickly um, that um, effect is going to flow off the brush. Uh, density you want to leave at 100, that's like opacity. And uh, auto mask, uh, you want to tick if you want Lightroom to kind of intelligently um, see where you're trying to paint and keep you within the line. So if we use auto mask here, you can see it's doing a good job of kind of keeping us confined to the areas that we're trying to paint into. And uh, that's good. That's what we want. But if you notice that it's not helping you do that, uh, you may not uh, want to have that selected. You'll just need to be more accurate with your brushing. So I've gone ahead and painted this and now I'm just clicking and holding and, and painting around and good, that looks good. So now what I'll do is I'll deselect the adjustment brush, which will allow me to select the before and after view here. So we'll click before and after and we can see the before and after effect of that adjustment there. So that looks really great. Um, if it didn't look perfect, we could go back up and, um, select the adjustment brush again, click on the pin here um, to select that adjustment and we can do things like for instance adjust the saturation um, and adjust that whitening if we wanted to brighten our teeth maybe a little bit as well we could adjust that um, from there also. So um, all of these different adjustments are available to that masked area that's um, associated with this pin. So that's pretty much it. If you have questions leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.